said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord, where we serve a still speaking God. Welcome to Pilgrim Congregational Church, a place of extravagant welcome, a place where if you call God he or she, you are welcome here. If you are old, if you are young, you are welcome here. If you're an old soul and a young body, you're welcome here. If you need a community to embrace your children, you're welcome here. If you need to be forgiven, if you need to forgive someone else, welcome. This is the place where we serve the Lord, where we reject racism, where we fight injustice, and we share our earthly and spiritual resources. This is the place where you can pray out loud or say nothing at all. We love old hymns, we love classical music and gospel. We embrace diversity and we love God. Today especially, your presence here is a statement of your belief, of your courage, of your resistance to say, in light of this uncaring world, in a time when people of faith are under attack, we are here in God's house worshiping anyway. Amen. Amen. So let us praise God and let us begin with worship. Good morning. Good morning. Um, so my poem is untitled. Um, I just didn't really know what to call it. So. Here's an original piece by me. <laughs> Knowledge lies limp and blind inside the minds of our youth. Instead, they're injected with colored numbers like heroin into the veins of our homeless graduates. Their minds are contorted and stretched until they beg for the sweet release of a sleepless night. They never said it would be easy. We've learned to become too concerned about things that don't teach us. We've forgotten knowledge who will remain blind, who will remain blind until it is touched. Thank you. This is Jeremiah 31, verses 7 through 9. For thus says the Lord, Sing aloud with gladness for Jacob, and raise shouts for the chief of the nations. Proclaim, give praise, and say, Save, O Lord, your people, the remnant of Israel. See, I am going to bring them from the land of the north, and gather them from the farthest parts of the earth. Among them the blind and the lame, those with child and those in labor together. A great company they shall return here. With weeping they shall come, and with consolations I will lead them back. I will let them walk by the brooks of water, in a straight path in which they shall not stumble. For I have become a father to Israel, and Abraham is my firstborn. A word of God for the people of God.
unable to respond to acts of brutality against black bodies by those sworn to serve and protect, unable not to respond to acts of brutality against black bodies by those who are sworn to serve and protect. Colin used his visibility as an NFL athlete to highlight the unequal justice so prevalent in our country. He did not shout. He simply took a knee. His was a silent gesture that spoke volumes. And in this so-called land of liberty, so-called home of the brave as a problem, was all he was trying to say. Though singularly talented, he lost his job, perhaps his career. The NFL owners now threaten teams with fines if a player follows Colin in this silent shout-out. These men are gladiators, can batter their bodies for our entertainment, but they have no First Amendment rights on the field. The forces that silence are indeed vindictive. Recall next Christine Blasi Ford. This has been a wonderful worship service. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Scott. And thank you. Thank you all so much. The music was magnificent last night. It was a blessing. And thank you for blessing our worship today. So people of God, as you go about your week, know when to be silent so that you may hear the voice of God speaking to you. Know when to raise your voice, especially to cry out for others. May you love God so much that you love nothing else too much. And may you Fear God enough that you need fear nothing at all. May the peace of God surround you, the love of God dwell in you, and the justice of God compel you. Go in peace, have some coffee, and if you're not a member, meet me on Wednesday the 7th. Amen. Amen. Thank you.